Hello and welcome my dear students and my viewers to my channel Mathematics Made Easy. This is Ms. Ruchika welcoming you to the first video for Grade 10 Elite Math. This video is the first video for a term 3. So I welcome you all to Chapter 1 Lesson 3 Matrices. This video is going to be a part 1 of Lesson 3 Matrices. It's a totally new concept for all my Grade 10 Elite students so I thought I'll make a video on it to simplify the concept. So the learning objectives for this video would be a quick introduction to matrices. You'll be able to identify what is the concept of a matrix and you'll know the different types of matrices which are possible. So that's what you are going to be learning today and this concept is given in your math book on page 21. So let's dive into the video and learn about matrices. So today's video is going to be a quick introduction as I already told you and here you see a picture of what is a general form of a matrix. Now some of my students were asking uh, what is the correct way of saying matrix or matrices. So I'll just quickly clarify here. If you just have one matrix given like the one in, shown in this picture, it's called a matrix. And if it is more than one, like you have two or three matrix given, so together in a um, plural form, they are called matrices. So matrix is the singular form when you just have one and matrices is the plural form when you have more than one. So that's matrices. Okay, so let's understand how we define a matrix now that we've understood about how to read it. So the concept of a matrix where we are going to define goes like this. A matrix is a rectangular array. So it is in the shape of a rectangle and it consists of variables or constant or we can say numbers as well in rows and columns. So I want you to recall rows are horizontal from left to right and columns are vertical so from up to down so if you look at a simple matrix so I'm going to write a matrix so the way we write is we put these big big square brackets and then we start to write the elements in the matrix now for your class grade 10 in the matrix usually you will get mostly numbers rarely you will get some other data which is in the form of variables or constants so it is organized so this is a way of defining a matrix it is a way of organizing your numbers so that each position in the matrix has a purpose so what does that mean let's see so I told you it is a rectangular array so that means we'll have uh, some certain rows so for example row 1 row 2 row 3 now I'm going to row M so M is a general um, you know notation that I'm using to denote the mth row so how many rows are there M rows so the first row for example I'm just putting some numbers randomly uh, 5 10 15 20 25 so 1 2 3 4 5 now if I write columns this is first column second column third column fourth column fifth column in general for column also just like row you could have say n columns right I'm not writing more elements I've just put here five elements now below these you may have any numbers so I'm just writing some numbers randomly they may be positive they may be negative they may be zero so this is how a matrix goes on okay so now you know this is first row this is first column and so on so I'm writing few more numbers here okay so how many rows this matrix has M how many column this matrix has 5 so M cross 5 that's how you define the dimensions of a matrix or you can say order of matrix and what does it say it says m cross 5 that means this matrix have 5 m elements now if I just put some uh, you know value for this m let me take a small easy one so I'm taking 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 0 1 okay so this matrix now can you tell me order or can you tell me dimension let's count I'll change color at this point, first row, second row, 
third row count horizontally so this one are the elements in row 1 row 2 row 3 now let's come to column i'm changing color c1 c2 c3 c4 so these are the elements column 1 column 2 column 3 and column so how much is the order so three rows four columns so three cross four and it tells you that this matrix will have 12 elements or 12 numbers in this case inside now a matrix is usually named using an uppercase letter so i could just use maybe a capital a to say this is example of matrix a now it is one matrix only so i'm saying matrix a if it would have been more than one i would have said matrices a b and c for example if there are three okay now let's conclude this slide with the general notation of a matrix so this is the general form i hope now you can relate so if there are one two three m rows this is denoting the rows the green part and the red part denotes the color so columns are vertical, rows are horizontal. I want you to remember that. So A11 is the element, this one, at position first row, first column. So the suffix, the numbers here denote the position. Similarly, this is first row, second column. So one, two. First you write row number, then you write column number. Accordingly, for nth column, first row, n column. Then you come down. So second row you have come, so two it changes and one the first column so a21 is the element here similarly a22 second row second column a2n second row nth column i hope you are able to notice the pattern so when you go down in first column the last element corresponds to the m row and first column m row second column similarly m row n elements and i hope you are able to understand that this matrix it's a general matrix with m rows and n columns will have m cross n elements. How do you read the order or dimension? m cross n. That's how you count and each value in the matrix is called element or entry. So if I ask you uh, for say, let's use highlighter here. So if I ask you what is the element for this matrix A at 2, 3 position. So, second row, third column, so 7. Okay, so I hope you understood the concept of a matrix. Let's go on further and describe the dimensions. So, dimension or order of a matrix are two different names for the same thing. So, if a matrix has M rows and N columns, its order or dimension is this. How do you read? M by N or M cross N. Both is good. So, if I have a matrix A, which is 3 cross 4, means it has 3 rows, 4 columns. So, when we are writing the order or the dimension, remember the order is first the row, then the column. Okay? So, if I have A12, this is element. It means it is referring to the element of the matrix A, which is at first row and second column position. Similarly, B12 refers to the element of matrix B at the same position, that is first row and second column. So that is how the element of a matrix is defined. Next, we come to types of matrices. So there are different types of matrices, one, two, three, four, that are possible out of which the simplest is zero matrix, where all elements in that matrix are zero. Okay, now think about the order of this matrix, two rows, two columns, so it's a two cross two matrix and such matrix where row and column are equal also have a different name that's a square matrix. Now I hope you're able to relate that when we define matrix in the last slide, we said it is a rectangular array of numbers, rectangular array of M cross N, rectangular array of m rows and columns so that was a rectangular arrangement so therefore the rows and column number were different 
just like in a rectangle where length and width are different or length and breadth are different but when all sides are equal what you get is a square from a rectangle so similarly from a rectangular matrix you get a square matrix if your m and n are equal so number of rows number of column are equal let's count here r1 r2 r3 c1 c2 c3 so three rows three columns both are equal so that's a square matrix now exclusively if a matrix has just row it is called row matrix like this one it just has one row r1 however it has three columns c1 c2 c3 and a column matrix will just have a column so very easy to remember row matrix has only row column matrix has only column so only c1 that's one column however row can be more also so these are some simple matrices types of matrix that you will be dealing with in the sessions to come so i just want you to remember about them so that brings us to the end of today's short video which gave you an introduction of matrices i hope you found this video useful and if you did just hit the thumbs up button like the video share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel thank you for watching until then this is ms ruchika signing off from this session look forward to meeting you for the next video which will be part 2 of concept of matrices so make sure you hit that bell icon to receive notifications of all my upcoming video bye students